hello guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is kobe and this is skytech digital now in this video we're going to sh i'm going to show you how you can be able to add extra you know fields or extra products add-ons to your what to your woocommerce product page so for instance let's say you have a product um like this one um, a book anything hey, it could be any product that you want and then um you know you you want to add extra fields to make it look like something like this one okay so as you can see over here um we have what we have extra add-ons over here pick up date return date okay and all the other um, calculations will be done for you and then you can what go ahead to it to um you know borrow the book or book the you know whatever thing that you are what you are booking or place order or do anything that you are what you or add the product to cut anything that you are what that you are doing and then also there are also other conditions also over here so for instance if i want to maybe you know set a product um that whenever something is chosen uh, another field should have to come so for instance if you look at this extra add-ons we have home delivery we have um custom you know customized text and then we have what um autograph okay so if you want us to sign the book for you and then a custom text maybe you have a custom text you want us to print on the book for you okay so you, when you select over here you see another field opens for you which says what enter your what your custom text here okay so then you can be able to what, go ahead to enter the custom text that you want to be what um you want um to enter for them to know that this is what a custom text over here so all these fields will be what um will be populated and then it will come to your what your other um you know page okay and that is it so um guys without wasting my time let's jump into the video so i'm going to take you through how i was able to create this um uh, product add-ons over here and then the other fields also over here so with the date for instance you can go ahead to select you know the pickup date that you want to what maybe you want to select this date and then also with this one you want to what maybe the return date over here okay so you can go ahead and then select all those things write your custom what your custom um you know test over you know you can choose to make it required or not required it depends on what it depends on you okay so um without wasting my time let's jump into the video so um what we're going to do is we're going to go to you know the um back end of the website and then um we are going straight to uh, to plugins over here okay so uh plugins over here and then we click on what add what new so we're going to add two different plugins okay so these plugins will help us now i'm going to the the video it's basically in two because i'm going to use two different plugins you choose between any one that you want to use okay and then you know um which one which is best for you for at the moment where you are doing the one that is best for you what you choose okay so what i'm going to search for the first one that i'm going to do is i'm going to search for um product add-ons okay i'm going to search for um you know um a plugin called product what add-ons now um the plugin that we're going to use is what is this plugin over here which says what product add-ons for woocommerce okay and that is exactly the plugin that we're going to use now as you can see it has five star reviews and then thirty thousand plus active installation so we're going to click on um, install now and then we we'll click on activate to activate the plugin now when you activate the plugin and when you scroll down you're going to see that you're going to have um this plugin activated over here okay so under it we have what the create forms and then the settings now let's go to settings first before we come to create what any form that we want to what to create so make sure that you check out the settings that you want to check out so um you know you can um write your what your add to cart button text whatever that you want it to show over here you can write it but remember that we have already what changed in on my website i've already changed what my add to cart button to borrow what um, borrow book okay so this one will not affect it but as you can see where do you want to display the fields in in um you know the data in in so show cards show checkout all these places that you want to what you want to display okay so you want it to uh, to display all these things so um i think the settings is good now what we're going to do is um, we want to create what forms so we're going to hover on what on um product over here and then as you can see there is another field which is what product a custom product add-ons okay so click on it 
and then you're gonna see that the product form um, page opens for you with um you know this is where all the list of forms that you've created what will be shown over here so we're gonna add a new form okay so just click on add new form and then you can give a name for your what for your um you know form so let's say maybe i want to say maybe extra um extra add-ons okay or extra options let me use extra options okay so extra options over here now as you can see you can what you can use um text field um you know text area select um the anything that you want to select the you know the check box group the radio group date number color um you know anything that you want to a hidden input paragraph header anything that you want to set up over here now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to make it very simple so i'm going to what um use what the date because um what i want is i want people to what this is a book um you know library or whatever it is um website so i want people to select a date for it so let's say um i need a pickup date and then a return date because they have to what to return it okay so i need to what to select um make let them you know the customers or the readers will be able to uh, choose the date that they want to what uh, they want to return and then uh, the day they want to pick up the book and then the day they want to uh, also return with the book okay so um i can just use what um the date field over here okay so i just click on it and then i can what go ahead and then as i hover on it you see that there is this um uh, pencil icon over here i can click on it and then you know do some few details that i want to what i want to do on it so i can make it required or not okay so the date field over here the label i want to say what um pick up date okay and then i want to make it required okay and then you know you can type in your placeholder over here so after you are done with it i'm gonna close it now i want the same thing i can either decide to click on the date over here or when i hover on it there is this you know um, copy over here so i can either decide to, uh, to copy it okay but i'm going to use this one and then click on it and then instead of the, the pickup date over here now i'm going to see what return date it okay and i also make it to what's required and then i will scroll down and then what we'll close it now i have my two fields over here okay now of course you can decide to what um you know give it a category that you want to what, give to it so i want to say i'm um, give it um let's say um product add-ons okay so that then i click on what um, add new category and then i'm going to what publish it so these are the two things that i wanted to what appear on my what my um uh, other product now as you can see it wouldn't appear unless we make it what appear over there okay so um to make it appear you can um do it one by one from the what from um you know the product side okay so if you go to all product over here so for instance you want to make it under what um the power of what positive thinking okay so if you go to um all product over here and then we look for the power of positive thinking over here and then we click on edit okay so now that we've you know um if we are editing the page then we can what scroll down okay just scroll down you see that there is this option another option over here which is a custom product with option just click on it and then you can what the extra options that we what we added okay you can what you can you know just um click on it select it okay so you select that kind of what product group that we sell we did and then when we come here and then what we um let me just position it over here and then we come here oh so oh, this one i've moved for it don't worry i can change it and then we can we'll just click on what update over here okay so now when we go over here and then when we refresh the page we are supposed to see the two dates that we did over there so as you can see this is what a pickup date and this is what a return date working perfectly for us okay so you can add what extra extra options over there okay 
and that is what and that is it now um if you go to the what the custom product add-ons you can add different different you know product add-ons over here so now let's edit this one and add another field also to it and then we move on to what go to the second one which is also what another plugin which does the same thing but will go go ahead to, what, to do extra things to it so um if let's say you know i want to what um use this one which is the select option i can go over here and then you know just choose um let's say maybe you know um the book that i want is it um let's say anything the color okay so just say let's say i want to or even with a color i can even use what color picker okay so um maybe i want them to customize the color of the book for me okay so i can go over here and then add what a color picker to it okay so um you know i can just choose over here and say what um choose color choose color okay and then um i can go ahead you know close it and then come here to uh, to um, update it now i have to what um you know because this extra options is added to the what this product was we when i go over here and then what i refresh it um that color picker should what should come over here and then when somebody clicks on it the person can be able to what, pick any color that a person would that a person want okay and that is it now um this is how you can be able to add or this is one method you can be able to what, add the product add-ons different different now this is basically uh, maybe for services and other stuff okay um you can what do so with this one now the next plugin that i'm going to show you also goes extra you know more to add prizes and other stuff to it to it and then i'm also going to what, do that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to deactivate this plugin okay or let me just you know let it be on it and then i'll go to um you know the um i'll go to plugins over here and then go to what add new plugin and add that particular plugin that i'm talking about to it okay so um the other plugin is also called what um personalized product add-ons for woocommerce so let me say we call it a ppom okay so ppom just search for ppom and you're going to see what product add-ons and fields for what for woocommerce and that is it ppom okay product add-ons for what for woocommerce okay so we're going to what use this one okay this one now click on install and click on what activate okay now remember that if you um you can use the two in conjunction but then i wouldn't advise you to use it just make sure that you activate one and deactivate what the other okay so that it wouldn't get any what even though i don't see conflict in it but then um since they all do the same thing you choose between the one that you want and then what you use it so now that we have what activated that one now when we go down we're going to see this one over here which is what uh, ppm ppom for woocommerce okay so we can go ahead and then what add fills over here okay so we can go ahead and then ask first or if you go to what the woocommerce over here you can what scroll down and then you see this one which says what ppom fills okay so just click on it and then as you can see automatically they create what um you know a demo one for us that we can what go ahead and then look at the way it works and then we can also use it now we're gonna what create a new what group okay so how do we create a new group we're gonna add new group over here and then what we're gonna do is um we're gonna call um you know this group let me see how i call this one um where is it the power for system okay, here yeah, extra add-ons okay so i'm gonna call this one maybe extra or product add-ons okay so let me call it product add-ons okay so um you know control price display on product page okay so you can what select options so if you don't want to show price display on the product page if you want to show only um options total if you also want to show what each um show each options price you all would you all do it but then i'm just going to leave it as it, as it is okay so um and then when you come down over here you see this one over here you can click on what add field and then we're going to what select the field that we are what going to add to it so um the first field what is the first field that we're going to add we call it what extra add-ons okay 
and then it is an option what field okay so as you can see we have different options that we can what select okay so we're gonna what um choose the select input over here okay so we're gonna click on select over here and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna name it with extra add-ons over here okay so now that we have extra add-ons now what we're gonna go is what we're gonna go to what add conditions over here and then we can add what our conditions so we have home delivery and the price we're gonna give it as what as 10 now we're gonna click over here again and then clean this one okay just um, delete this one then this one we call it customize test and then you know choose any price that we want 15 and then also go ahead again to add another extra field and then um, the next one we're gonna call it what, autograph and then what price are we gonna give to it we're gonna give it what five okay so now that we have everything done now we can go ahead and click on what add field so this field is what is added for us okay now remember that um it is not required okay if you go to it and to edit the game if you go to the field over here you can set it as required you can set a fixed fee for it you can also what um you know show it which is a pro the tool tip okay which is a pro version over there so now that we have this and this one done um, i'm gonna close it now we can go ahead and add another extra um field okay now the extra field that we're gonna add is what um and either text input or text area input anyhow you want it okay so let me use this one text area input okay now what is the text area input i'm gonna call it the custom text okay so um with the text custom text um you know i can give it to a placeholder which is a custom text and then over here i'll say what um you know enter your custom text here okay enter your custom text here now um it is not required okay it is not required but this one will have a condition okay and what is the condition now we're gonna say that um with the extra field over here okay we show all uh, show all okay of the following if the um, of the following matches so um you know we're gonna show all with the product add-ons over here if the product add-on is then we're gonna select this one which is what which is customized with text okay so if the product somebody choose customized text for the product add-on then we want to show the place the person can be able to type their own customized with text over there okay and then make sure that you enable the word the condition okay so click on what enable over here Cl check this box to, to enable it and then um you know this one is a pro version so after doing everything you can what you can click on add field over here to add the what the field okay so now we are done with our second one now the last one that we're going to do is what um the date okay the pickup date and all those things now you see that this one even though um the options are six you can be able to uh, do so many things with it okay especially the things that you really need so we're going to what um you know enter date over here and then we're going to call this one pick up what date okay so um that is basically all what i want to show i'm going to click on add and then i'll still add another field again i'm going to add what another date and then i'll see what return what date over here okay and then i'm going to what um you know add the field so now that all the field i would i added everything that i want now i want to what, click on save fields okay so um i've saved the field successfully now i can what i can um go back to what the product uh, meta okay to the existing product method. so click on the blue button over here to go back so now you see that um this is what we created over here okay so these are the things that we created now we have to attach it to a, to the product okay so how do you do it now click over here and then you can attach it to any product that you want to, uh, to attach so all your products will be shown over here and then you just what um you know select the kind of product that you want to attach so let's say you want to attach it to what um think and grow rich okay so we're gonna what um we're gonna click on over here and then we're gonna check this add um text over here or the box b beside the add over here and then we're gonna what click on save to save so as you can see it says what save one updated yes okay so it what it refresh itself and then everything what will work perfectly for us so now if you go to what our um if you go to our website over here and then we go to what to um you know all the products or oh, let's scroll down and see if the there is thinking okay thinking grow rich is now over here 
so let's go to all products or the library over here and then we're going to see what all our product and then we search for think and grow rich okay so this is what think and grow rich now let's click on it and then when we scroll down guys as you can see this is it so we have what our extra add-ons on it and then if we select what um, you know custom text a custom you know text part what opens for us and then we can what um, you know type in any custom text that we want to type text um, we want the the um, you know that me of the website to know about okay and then we can what go ahead to uh, to select our pickup date and then I would return it and then all other things will be what will be added for us so you can see the price and everything over here and then we can go ahead and then what um you know borrow the book okay so guys um this is how you can be able to add what product add-ons to your what to your website i've shown you two um you know two different plugins that can be able to do um this kind of what product add-ons now all what you need to do is choose the one that you want okay let me let me know which one do you think it is best that you think you can be able to what, use after seeing all these things give me um you know a comment in the comment section and let me know if you have any other one to which you think is also what great let me know about it so that i can what i can check it out okay thank you for watching see you in the next video please don't forget to subscribe to the channel like this video so that what um you know youtube algorithm can pick it up for to also show it to people who also want to watch, also want to watch the video see you in the next video bye bye